Looked a little shaky for the Badgers in the fourth quarter, down a point, but Wisconsin was able to take advantage of a special teams mistake from Western Michigan. Tawi Walker with a violent run to the end zone to give his team the lead. Tyler Van Dyke running in from six yards away for another score, and it turned out fine for the Badgers on opening night, a 28-14 victory against the Western Michigan Broncos. We'll check out some of the highlights from the opening night encounter against the Mid-American Conference foe. We'll check in with running back Ches Malusi as well as assistant offensive line coach, a very familiar name and one of the Badger greats back in the 90s, Casey Robach. And we'll have our sit down with head coach Luke Fickle. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Takes the snap. He'll hand to Malusi straight ahead inside the five. Turning those legs down to the one. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Ches Malusi fights his way into the end zone. Here's the snap. The left footed punter with the kick in the air. Drifting back Jordan Parker. It checks up. Inside the 25. May have hit off of a Bronco. It's loose at the 20. As that was bouncing, it hit a Bronco. And the Badgers get a monumental break. First and goal. Van Dyke is at the Walker. Trying to cut it back inside the five yard line. Gets through Tate Halleck. Walker driving to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Oh, my goodness. A powerful run to the house from Tawee Walker. Walker. Van Dyke looking to throw and he'll pull it down. Van Dyke to the five, cutting left. Van Dyke dies to the goal line. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Tyler Van Dyke scrambles home from six yards away. Football is a four-quarter game, obviously, and we have to be better. But I mean, special teams is a big part of you know what we do here, and you know that's. You know, we expect to do things like that, so I was really happy for the special, the special teams unit for sure. So many games come down to the last 15 minutes, the last 10, 5 minutes. If you can finish in that last little stretch, you're going to win a lot of games, and that's what we, we, we've trained that all offseason, about finishing, and about, you know, when you're tired, you got a little more left. Um, so to be able to, to do that tonight, big. I thought we did a good job finishing, and uh, you're going to have some adversity sometimes, um, and yeah, we got to be better next week, though, for sure. Set the standard. Set the standard. Let's go. Ricardo Holman from one end of the yard to the other. Touchdown, Wisconsin, as the Badgers are back in the fight. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Jez Malusi, 89 yards. And it's picked off by Hunter Waller. There is a big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors building Wisconsin together. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. This is a hallway. It doesn't evoke much feeling, but to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health, remarkable. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. path to a great career today. Climb to reach your career potential with no loans and no debt. 
so you can earn while you learn. A Wisconsin Operating Engineers Apprenticeship is your opportunity to work outdoors and get heavy equipment experience. Partner with your employer for serious pay, great health and pension benefits. Acquire real-world experience while building Wisconsin together. To start your career journey, visit join139.com today. We didn't get a chance to get into it before the season opener, but now the season is underway. Good chance for Coach Fickle to talk about the new assistants on the staff. There are four of them this season with, with Alex Grinch and Kenny Guyton, A.J. Blazik, and E.J. Whitlow. Um, take us through that, that process, Coach. Uh, first, tell us about those guys, what you liked about them, and in general, what do you look for when you're, when you're looking to hire assistants? Well, all of them have done a really good job. I think, you know, twofold. They fit in with the staff. They've embraced the things that we do, um, recognize some of the things that we needed to change and adapt from last year. Um, but I think first and foremost, it was after a year in the program, you do have a better idea of what it is that you need and you're looking for, right? We all got to, you know, be able to balance each other out as coaches too, right? You don't want them all the same. And after one year, some of the things that we were able, you know, we went through, we, we see some things that uh, can give us a chance to make some adjustments and adapt. And I always say this, like, it doesn't mean you got a better coach just because, you know, you got somebody different. But I think in all situations, we've got a better fit for what it is that we need. And those guys have done a great job at, at mixing, but also buying in and, and, and really kind of getting, you know, the, the, the ownership within their own rooms. And to me, that's what I've been happiest about. No, not one in particular, um, but all of them and, and understanding and embracing maybe the things that they didn't get a chance to see last year, but understanding and recognizing that the why there are some things that we need to do a little bit different. I would imagine all four are like this or all your coaches, period, but I'll take one out of the air here and A.J. Blazik. Uh, we're talking with Casey Robach, assistant offensive line coach, and I was visiting with Jake Renfro before the start of camp, and he talked about how Coach Blazik is really a relationship-driven coach. The door is open. Guys come in, go sit on the couch. As much as things are changing in this world, that component, I would imagine, is still pretty critical. It is, especially at that position. I mean, the nature of the position, too, um, and I say that because most guys as an offensive lineman, I would say, are developmental. And don't get me wrong, we have the highest end offensive line, but your Joe Thomases are not normal <laughs> in, at that position, obviously. But I mean, even a guy that is, you know, has as much ability to walk in the door, how much they have to develop at that position in particular. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard at a young age. And it's even hard at an older age as you take Jake Renfro and some of those guys. So at that position in particular, to, to be able to build a relationship, to be able to spend more time, I, I think is as big a deal as anything, and, and more so at that position probably than any other. Maybe quarterback might be the other one because as much time as those guys spend together, but there's no greater development in our program than in the offensive line, and, and I think it comes down to relationships. And what, a, what an opportunity with five freshman offensive linemen, five scholarship freshman offensive linemen, and, and scholarship for a reason. I mean, these guys have a ton of talent, don't they? They do, and, and, and some of those guys are going to are in and are going to be in the mix this year. And uh, some of them got a little head start with, with spring football, um, but that's been a big part of this fall camp um, is how, how do you get those guys up to speed because in a quarterback battle that we had, <clears throat> you had to be able to see those guys perform with that second group. And sometimes you look out there and it's three you know guys with the second group that are true freshmen. And at times there was one of the true freshmen in with the one group. So those guys have had a little bit of baptism under fire. And in particular, as a young guy, you have to have a relationship with somebody because no matter how good you are, there's going to be ups and downs <laughs> at that position, and it's going to be grueling. And uh, AJ's done a great job, and those young guys have done a great job. Another name out of the air, Kenny Guyton, personality plus. Uh, he, among, and obviously a great <clears throat> football mind, high football IQ and all of that, great teacher of the game. But he does kind of lighten up. He brightens up a room, doesn't he? He does. And uh, the nice thing about Kenny is I've known him since he was 18 years old. And so you got to, you know, did spend a ton of time with him. But when, you know, a guy is your scout team quarterback for a year or two, you, you do spend a, a bit of time with those guys and you get to know them. And, and uh, it's been awesome to see how he's grown. And haven't seen him until this opportunity to see him in that coaching role because, you know, he's been doing it other places, but uh, it's great to have a familiar face back and, and to have that energy, you know, and that fire and that, uh, I'd say that twang, but that person and that twang, just it, it's <laughs> it's really been a joy to be around. Probably good for you as a head coach. You have guys who you have worked with or have, or in the case of Coach Guyton, you've known him since he was 18. Other guys you've worked with, 
other guys you haven't so you're probably getting you've got a good mix of fresh ideas you know new sets new pairs of eyes with guys you've been around a long time I think that's really important and <clears throat> at times when I was first a head coach it was mind-boggling when you lost a coach and it was like gut-wrenching but after having it happen a few times in those first couple years I, I kind of took a different mentality behind it. like okay let's figure out what it is that we need and find a way to make ourselves better and that's why when it happens, when you have some natural turnover, I think it can be a great thing for a program, especially in early on. You know, just the ability for us to recognize some things we need and, and to do a little bit different. And personalities can do that in, in different perspective, right? To have Alex Grinch, who has done it as well as he has in so many different areas, to come in and give us some different perspective and different visions on, you know, defense for Mike Trestle, but also for me that's in there an awful lot. I'd be remiss here under a minute if I didn't bring up Casey Robach. We'll visit with him on this show. He, he sat with, with us on one of your radio shows last year. He was coaching youth football. Didn't want to do this anymore. He's just got to get back in. What an addition to the staff. He is. And Casey is obviously a unique individual. And we used him last year in a way to show what the model looks like of you know, not just a Wisconsin player, but a Wisconsin offensive lineman and his humility and his ability to do whatever asked. But his ability to kind of fit into the mix, you know, understand him and A.J. go hand in hand and the ability to, to everybody to see that you know he is an incredible asset in whatever that he's he does coaching in particular one but just what's the culture what's the what's the history of what wisconsin football has been and should be is right there in casey robach we will visit with coach robach on today's show we'll also sit down with running back ches malusi as we continue with the badger sports report we believe in education we believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. talented position groups in this Wisconsin football team, not the least of which is running back. And as the season moves along, fans will get familiar with some of the newer players, Toby Walker and the freshman as well, and some other guys. But with one of the key returnees, the key returnee in that backfield is Ches Malusi, who is back. And I would imagine, and I've talked with Jake Renfro, Ches, where he just, you realize how much you miss the game when it's taken away. And I would think, I mean, you've had some, I'll, I'll use the word lousy luck, with injuries probably better words to use but it's television but for you just to get the season started you got to be about the happiest guy in the locker room aren't you yeah exactly I mean last season was a long one for me and you know I just a lot of those games just sitting on the sidelines and being up top you know watching the games and not being able to do much you know it eats at you so you know finally being able to get back to it you know it's super exciting what was the summer like and even in the you know spring you participated more maybe than some people thought yeah when did it when you at the point where i can trust this my leg is good let's just turn it loose and, and let her rip yeah so in spring you know they they were trying to take it slow a little bit and i looked a little better than everyone anticipated so you know they kind of just let me do it and i, I wouldn't say i was 100 percent yet but i I know it's something that I had to do and kind of prove to myself. And so, like, after spring ball, you know, going into the summer, I had a, a huge summer, got stronger, started to feel like myself. And, you know, now I feel better than I was before. We talked about it with, with Brady Collins uh, about, okay, last year you had an idea of what it was like. This year, tell us from your perspective, one of the returning players, I'm not going to say easy because that's the last word you would <laughs> use with Brady Collins, but at least maybe the surprises weren't quite as uh, plentiful as they were the first time around. I mean, with Coach Brady, you know, you still gonna have surprises. So I would never say, you know, there no, there's no surprises, but you know, we're acclimated to how we get to work here, you know, how we lift, how we do things, you know, everyone was kind of accustomed to, accustomed to it, except for the guys that are brand new, obviously. But, you know, for the guys that were here last year, it wasn't, it wasn't like we're just on our feet, like trying to figure it out. Like everyone was just so used to it. So we're just like going to work as fast as we could. So with, with Coach Brady, 
it was a surpri- there were surprises along the way, obviously, but you know it was a lot of fun this summer. Well, for for guys returning like you and and, and Jackson Aker and Cade Yacomelli, um and then you've got a lot of new guys here. So I would imagine if it's the freshman running backs, if it's uh, you know Tawie Walker. They're probably picking your brains quite a bit, weren't they? Yeah. You're trying to help them along as best you can, get acclimated to what it's all about here. Definitely. The, the young guys, you know, this is their first time in college, so you know they're trying to operate and maneuver through a college campus. You know what to do, trying to get th- to things on time. And, and Jackson and Cade, you know, those are kind of those are vets now as well. You know, they've been a part of the program for a couple of years now, and this Coach Fickle well, and Coach Brady's program for a year now. So they're I, I would call them vets. And Tawi's been in college for a while, so. You know, he he got to work immediately, put his head down, and kind of knew already what was going on because he's been a part of another another program. So, you know, our our room as a whole, except for Gideon came in the spring, so he mm-hmm. was already accustomed to it. So, I mean, besides the two young guys, you know, they came in here and put their head down as well and just went to work and they asked questions. But you know, when you're a freshman, you just try to you know spread your wings a little bit and just get to work. <laughs> I would say it's probably important if you can get together a little bit outside yeah. all that though, just get to know if it's the new guys or just to, to form the bond and all of that there. There is uh, exactly. there's something about that that's pretty important, right? Most definitely. You know, even taking like the younger guys out to eat, or if the running backs are going to eat somewhere, you know, I think we did a, little, a good, really good job of, you know, taking people to new places and getting to know new faces. This league is expanded, as yep. we all know. You know, a Big Ten opener at USC, and you got Oregon coming here. It's different, you know, for some. But in my age, we got to try to get used to it. But for a young guy like you, it's, it's probably pretty exciting, isn't it? Knowing you're going to see some different teams and really good teams, strong brands, tradition-rich programs. You're going to you're going to square off with a pretty strong program of your own. Yep, definitely. I mean, it, it, this is basically what the next level is like. You know, when you look at the NFL, you know, week in week out, you have you know teams coming in that are all NFL teams. So you know, I think the Big Ten and you know not as the SEC. You know, between those two leagues, I think those teams that are down the line are. You know, you're playing the best of the best each week. So I think at the end of the day, like, it's nothing to get – it's super it's, – you have to get excited because it's NFL tape. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? So that's how it really goes. All right, be fun to watch. Ches Malusi and those Badger running backs. Should be a lot of fun for Badger fans to watch this season. We'll take a break. Be back with more in a moment. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience – to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Groover Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. This is a hallway. Doesn't evoke much feeling, but to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways, instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health, remarkable. We've talked a lot the last year plus of a lot of new faces of the coaching staff. Obviously, new faces are always the case in terms of the players. It's good to have a very familiar face who's back, and he's been back for a while. Casey Robach knows all about winning championships and back-to-back Rose Bowls, and now among his duties, assistant offensive line coach. You just couldn't stay away, could you? (laughs) You know, once it gets in your blood, it's hard to get out. Really, it is. I'm I'm super excited about the opportunity uh, in front of me here and uh, excited to get going. It was interesting. I think we talked last fall about it uh, with the Tausch. And Mm -hmm. when you were done playing, it was like, I'm okay, I'm done. I want to stay away. And then, you know, watching youth football and just like, ah, it's just, you can't. It's in your blood. It is in your blood, and you know, I, you know, I gotta give you know props and uh, thank, uh, thankful for such a great family at home, my wife Nicole and the kids and all that stuff. They uh, um, are very encouraging on the path that I've chosen and uh, very supportive. And uh, you know, without them, I couldn't do it. But it, it really is in your blood. It's uh, you know something that you grow up doing. I mean, I my my first first memories of as a kid, is me being the water boy, is my dad's coach of high school ball. And, you know, you go through your whole football development and your whole football career and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's been a part of my life for a really long time. Tell us about Coach Blazik, working with A.J. Blazik. Oh, What's that like? It's so much fun. It's, it's like a breath of fresh air because he is uh, – he and I are really uh, – cut from from a similar cloth you know he's got a lot of ideas that um we bounce off each other it's like exactly what i would thought of you know and uh he coaches at a, a, 
with a lot of intensity and a lot of uh, enthusiasm, and uh, he he's going to be a good one here. You've got some good guys here. I know it's, you know, Coach uh, Blazik has talked about this, trying to continue to develop depth and all that, mm -hmm. but you've got some veteran guys, too, who have been through a fair amount, and that's golden, isn't it? Oh, for sure. You know, any time that you can have guys with, with starts under their, belts and, uh, under their belts and the amount of starts that these guys have right now, that's just a plus. You know, we talk a lot in our, in our offensive line uh, meeting rooms, you know, we're teaching algebra to some, we're teaching algebra two to the other, and the other, and then those guys that we're talking about, you know, it's calculus time. You know, they're fine tuning every little detail of plays and defenses and stuff like that. So it's, it's yes, we're developing for sure, but it is a blessing to have those guys that can play football and understand football at a high level that we can just throw even more at them. As a coach, you're, you're concerned about getting your team better today than it was yesterday and so on and so forth. But when I sit down and talk with you, I've talked, I talked with Coach Alvarez in, in, the, in the spring and obviously Mac. I'm still wrapping my mind around the fact that it was 25 years ago that you guys like you and Mac were paving the way for Ron Dane. Does it seem like 25 years ago? Uh, at some points, no. But then when you sit back and think about it, yeah, it seems like a lifetime ago, right? But, uh, um, you know, those memories are, are, are always fresh in your mind. Just of the stuff that we were able to do here while we're here and it's exciting to see you know where wisconsin football has taken you know the foundation that we laid you know so to say back then to where it is now um but yeah it it, it definitely reminds you of your age especially when you say stuff like that <laughs> it's kind of fun though i mean you max your teammate and yeah. uh, you know as the athletics director mark mm -hmm. tauscher is around a lot yeah. just to reconnect with those guys and some of the other guys you were line mates with back in the day right? oh it definitely is and you know on game day obviously you you connect with even more and more of that it, the railing and stuff on, on, on at the sidelines, you know, saying what's up and whatnot. And you say, you know, Chris and Tausch always around. You know, I get to see Chris every day. Tausch, where is he now? On vacation? On vacation, right? yeah. He's on vacation. <laughs> we'll see him some more. I know that. <laughs> uh, but, no, it's great to be around those kind of people. And it, it's, not just, it's not just the guys I played with prior to. It's the people in this building, in this athletic department. Coach Fickle has talked a lot about on the recruiting front that that W extends farther than he thought. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously he grew up in the Big Ten and he coached at Cincinnati. Um, that's got to make you feel good when you hear the head coach say that, where you can recruit coast to coast and people know about the Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, definitely. And I think it's – it. I, I didn't realize how big the brand was um, when I was playing here either. And then, you know, my through my journey in the NFL and stuff like that and going to different locales and stuff like that, you turn around and you see a Badger fan at down in Tampa and you're playing the Buccaneers or something like that. But it, it is huge to have that following, that um, th those people that are rabid Badger fans everywhere in this country because everybody knows it. It really is. And, you know, it shows, you know, the with some of the recruits that we're getting um, nowadays, it, it's not just the Midwest players like it was of old, you know, the, the – we reach a lot further now. Yeah, they're doing extremely well on that front. Casey Robach, director of scouting, assistant offensive line coach, duties as assigned. It's a real <laughs> good one to have. We'll take a break, be back right after this. Clear your path to a great career today. Climb to reach your career potential with no loans and no debt so you can earn while you learn. A Wisconsin Operating Engineers Apprenticeship is your opportunity to work outdoors and get heavy equipment experience. Partner with your employer for serious pay, great health and pension benefits. Acquire real-world experience while building Wisconsin together. To start your career journey, visit join139.com today. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors building Wisconsin together. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 
9-6 Wisconsin, opening set. Clock short serve, picked up by the Badgers, and Robinson runs a slide on the right side and bangs across court for the kill. Here comes Louisville, Cabello, De Beer, blocked by Bucky. It's Spruck and Robinson, and Anna Spruck had her hands all over that one. Franklin serve out assistant, De Beer flies in. Goes right at Schumacher, setter, dump for a bringer, right in the middle, a kill by the Badgers freshman setter. Game number two right back here at Camp Randall Stadium Saturday afternoon, a 2.30 kick against a very good team for the football championship subdivision, South Dakota. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This is a hallway. It doesn't evoke much feeling, but to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health, remarkable. At Gruber Law Offices, we take great pride in helping those who have trusted us after a serious accident. Our team has the knowledge, resources, and experience to get you the results you deserve. Don't wait to get the help you need. Make the right call. Call Groover Law Offices today. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all.